The wait is finally over guys, we have now got our hands on the 8.1 update and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install it. More tech here, here leading you through the wonderful world of technology. We do reviews, how to's and a whole lot more and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing. So guys what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to install the new update the Android 8.1 that we've been waiting for for ages so firstly what you need is these two folders so you need this folder and they're in the link down below this is for the actual update software and the image and then this is the SD card what you need to, some of the files that you need to put onto it so firstly what we're going to do I'm just going to open this up so we can see it so you can see it does actually explain everything in this but I'm going to walk you through it just in case you're a bit if you don't know what to do so what you're getting here just describes what you're getting it so the main thing that you want to do is copy the pre-installed directory into the SD card so we're going to get it up here now for you so where it says pre-install you want to copy this over to your SD card now if you're doing a fresh install that's totally cool you can just drag and drop all of these onto an SD card and that's fine but if you're not and you're keeping some things and so forth the two main files that you need to look into are the pre-install and the games but me I mean to be honest for me I just did a fresh install so I just dragged it all over put it all into an SD card and it was good to go so remember you need the pre-install file now the second file that you need which I've just sort of gone over really quickly is the game file where is it game directory so again you can just drag and drop this in it will copy over it or if you want to do a fresh install I always recommend doing a fresh install and backing up all your data so they're the two main files but you can drag and drop them all into it so now what I'm going to do really quickly I'm going to show you actually how to flash it pretty scary when some people say oh flashing it but it takes a matter of minutes and you'll have the new update in your hands sooner rather than later so we're going to go on to the main retroid folder we're going to click it open as I say it gives you some key information here so just have a read of that and then we're going to go on to the splash splash flash tool click this open now I've already done all this first, so I've already had it open. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you where you need to find the file. So the first file we need is mtkall1.da bin. So we click on that, we press open on that. And then the second one that we need is the actual scatter file. Now, when you first open this application, it'll say the scatter file is not found. And that's perfectly fine just click OK and click straight off it the reason why I'm looking there because I'm looking at the screen I've got two monitors going at once so I've got bits and bobs on them so all we do is click on this and then we press open now that's basically it now the next step is to get your retro pocket device if you've updated to the beta before then you'll know what to do on this but even if you've never done it this is the simplest thing to do literally ever so the next thing you do make sure the device is turned off now on the instructions it may say that you're going to get a green screen here like a green little tick saying it's okay good to go because what you do first you press download and then you'll get a green little screen saying okay there but I never get it on mine for some reason I'm not sure why so the next thing we need to do is press download and lock it into the Retroid Pocket 2 once you do that it needs to be off once you do that, then it will start to upload and you'll see a little yellow bar and it will go, go, go and then it will say complete. Once it's complete, you can take the USB cable out and boot it up and pretty much you will have Android 8.1 straight away on the device. Now, there's another way to do it and that is through the... OTA upgrade now there is a bit of a problem at the minute because the servers are down because everyone seems to be piling into it but I will leave a link below as well for the OTA upgrade APK all you need to do on that is drag and drop it in 
you will install it you'll just follow the instructions press open and install and once you've done that let it install and then it'll say it's complete and then once that's it you can give it a reboot if you want you don't have to and then you will get an upgrade so all you have to do is click on the upgrade you will connect to the server and then start downloading the new update now a lot of people have been doing this and they say the download is really slow so i wouldn't recommend doing it that way but if you're not used to flashing or you're a bit iffy about flashing i would probably recommend going down that route so there's two options there guys so it was just a really quick video to show you that i'll actually show you the os on the screen now but hopefully this has helped you all out. I will be doing a full review of the OS coming later sometime this week. But as always guys, don't forget, please like, rate and subscribe. And if you are new to the channel and you like this kind of content or you're new to the Retro Pocket community, I've got various videos down below now. And I've also got a new keyboard review out. So if you're a big gamer and you want, and that's my girlfriend walking straight in, so she interrupted with the video. So now I've got to do it all again. And also we've got a review down below of a mechanical keyboard for under $50. So if you're a massive gamer, but you're on a budget and you want a nice keyboard that feels nice and responds really quickly, go and check that out in the description and the link below now. But until next time, guys, as always, we're in lockdown altogether. So stay safe and take care.